Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign of Libra. Libra, this is your weekly general reading for the 23rd through the 29th of September 2019. Now I'm using the Keepers of the Light Oracle along with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot for your weekly general messages. At the end of your reading, Libra, I will be pulling several uh, Find Your Happiness energy cards for you as well. So we have Master Buddha, Increased Awareness coming up here. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. All right. What extra message do you have for Libra? Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, Spirit. Thank you. All right. Hummingbird, Miracles. Beautiful. I love how the colors are matching here as well. Thank you, Spirit. All right. What does Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign need to know this week? 23rd through the 29th, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Libra. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Weaver, we're ready. Situation of the week. Beautiful. Four of Wands. Crossing you. Queen of Swords. In your foundation, Nine of Wands. Recent past energy. We have the world. Crowning you. Beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. Your new circumstance is the Four of Cups. From the bottom of the deck, beautiful. The sun is the overall energy. All right. All right, Libra, give me just a moment here. Let's take a look at your major energy. So you have Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. Listen to your own inner guidance. Listen to that intuition, those nudges. All right, I feel for many of you, you are having this increased awareness, you're awake, um, you're growing within your spirituality, beautiful. Now we have hummingbird, miracles, you are the joy bringer, you bless the world with positivity and love, energy soars on your shining wings, spread the miracle of happiness beautiful and i just want to add for those of you libras that are having a birthday this week happy birthday to you too all right and it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous week for you now we have the sun all right this is the energy of leo coming up here this talks about creativity clarity success um for some of you, this is discovery of a truth within yourself or maybe a situation or a person. Whatever this has to do with, it's, it's positive, all right? Uh, this also represents letting that inner child shine as well. Now, your current situation for this week is the Four of Wands, and this is just happiness. This talks about the joy, the harmony that's within you, within your soul, within your home, whether you have a family or not. Um, you know, some of you may be having some celebrations, birthdays, uh, with this coming up here. I feel that what you're working towards is structure within the home, laying a you know, laying a foundation that's going to be unshakable. Now we have the Queen of Swords. This is your energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The Queen of Swords is that energy, whether you're male or female watching this. It's that no-nonsense type of energy. All right? Uh, being very direct, straightforward, realistic is key here. There may be a need to speak your truth this week. There may be a need to cut out toxic people or situations. Maybe things that aren't serving your purpose anymore. I definitely see you doing that this week. It's kind of like you're clearing your energy. That's what I'm getting from this. 
Now you have the Nine of Wands in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week. This is a beautiful energy. This is the spirit of perseverance right here. This talks about you. It may have taken years for you to collect all of these wands. You may have been wounded uh, while doing so, but nothing is going to get in your way. You're not going to be broken. Uh, you're going to move forward uh, because you have that spirit of perseverance flowing within you. Now we have the world in your recent past energy. This talks about uh, completion, all right? And uh, with this completion, there is a sense of a successful uh, new beginning adventure that you're taking here, that you are uh, embarking on. Uh, you are able to close out a cycle or a chapter in your book of life here. Uh, I feel like that's brought fulfillment within your soul. Um, you used all the tools and, you know, all the elements that were available to you and you are able to move forward successfully. Ten of Pentacles crowning you. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is so positive. The Ten of Pentacles represents the good life. This represents good wealth, stability, and security within your finances, your home life, your family. This can also represent traditional family values. Now you have the Four of Cups coming up here as the new circumstance. I feel uh, there's a need for maybe if you have an opportunity coming up this week, uh, something being offered to you, uh, make sure that you don't just toss it to the side. I feel like this could be a blessing in disguise for you, Libra. Uh, this is definitely a time where maybe you need to go within. Uh, maybe do a bit of uh, contemplation here. There's a need for you to believe in yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Something's being offered. It's a blessing. It's an opportunity. All right. It's meant to happen. All right. So you have Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice, hummingbird, miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracles of happiness. You have clarity. You have the sun shining down on you at this time. Uh, this is creativity. This is a successful new beginning that you're embarking on. The Four of Wands. Some of you are having birthdays. Some of you are having small get-togethers, celebrations. Maybe even an engagement party or a wedding. Uh, you may be laying a solid foundation. Some of you may be buying a home for the first time, okay? Uh, I do see you coming at this week with that no-nonsense type of attitude. There's a need to purge out anything toxic or uh, situations, people. You are going to be speaking your truth. You have the spirit of perseverance running within you and through you this week, which is really, really positive. You know, you're not going to let anything get in the way of what you're working towards. You've recently completed a I'm getting karmic cycle from spirit. And now you're starting a new chapter in your book of life here. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is what you know, what you're thinking about. This is you building up your empire, Libra. Uh, your financial stability, your wealth, uh, your stability and security right here. Traditional family values. Something's being offered here. Don't overlook it. This is a blessing in disguise. You may, This may be something where you need to pause and reflect before making a commitment or a decision. I do feel like, though, once you contemplate, once you pause and reflect, you're going to realize that this is a blessing. It's an opportunity for you. Thank you, Spirit. That laugh has been coming up so much. All right. Thank you. All right. Laugh. Find pleasure in laughing at how ridiculous life can be. How will I remember to laugh when something outrageous happens today? Belly laugh. Wisdom. Wisdom is knowing when to use what you have learned. How will I wait until the right time to make a difference today? Wisdom waits. Beautiful. 
All right, Libra, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. Happy birthday to all you Libras that are having a birthday this week. Um, I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Libra.